What you got that, T-Boy? Somebody got to pull this pork, boy. <laughs> I got it somewhat, but shredding up for these sandwiches. You want one? Yeah, I want one. All right, cool, fam. Hook me up, dude. I'm gonna hook that. you up, bro. If only you could smell it. What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to Fallen Tide TV, and it's a special one today because tomorrow is opening day of Big Duck season, and I couldn't be happier. Me yep. and my boy Taylor going out and get after him in the morning. Duck season Eve. Duck season Eve. Oh Lord, I'm spilling beer. I, I'm, I'm in the. I'm on the first beer, and I'm already spilling it. That's oh my bad. God, you're so drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Heck yeah. Well, Taylor went out and scouted today. Look at Tangie all up in the camera. Girlfriend is ready, son. <laughs> She's ready. You ready for it? She done slept about three hours, bud. She's ready to rock. So tell me about that scouting trip, man. What'd you see? Not much. <laughs> to be honest, Marsh was pretty void. The birds uh, yeah. got out there at about eight o'clock. Probably didn't see the first ducks till about 35 minutes into the trip, 40 yeah. minutes into the trip. Yeah, it was pretty barren, but we found a few. You rode for how many miles? I actually mapped it 49.3. 49 miles. I think you said you found a, a whole, what, like 300 birds, you said? Yep. Okay. It's a good it's not bad. estimate. Not bad for a south wind. It's hot. Hell no. You know, Especially and, with whatever you know. else I saw today. Checked 20-something yeah. ponds and found birds in two of them. Uh, we had a lot of hurricanes come through, pushed a lot of salt water in there, so the marsh is very salty. Killed a lot of the grass in there. This place used to have a good bit of grass. I don't know what to expect later later in the season, but right now it seems to be having a few birds, and we just hope that we get on some tomorrow. So, Shout out to you, though, man, for getting out today while I was at work and finding, at least it seems like a good a good pile of birds. Uh, it's the best, best, best numbers of birds you've seen in the whole marsh. Okay. You basically rode the whole marsh. For uh, oh. all that's accessible by my boat, yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's a lot of ground to cover in a, what is it, a 13, 7? 13 foot, 7 inch flat boat with a 24 stroke. Yeah. Running, yeah, that, that's, a lot of, that's a lot of water to cover. Running 22.4 miles an hour. That's a lot of water to cover. Yeah. So. Eliminated a lot. That's yeah. also just as good as finding birds as eliminating water and area. Yeah. I'm ready for it, dude. Me too. We gotta get out there early in the morning. We gotta beat these yahoos out there. Yeah. I hope they don't get the launch all blocked up in the morning. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. We probably just gonna skip straight from this intro straight to the blind because I'm not wasting time. We gotta get. We gotta get out there. It's public land that we hunting. You so. mean the bed? <laughs> what? You said you mean the bed. Basically the bed. Not yeah. The blind. Yeah. The bed. Yeah. <laughs> we gotta get out there pretty early and try to beat the crowd. Sometimes you gotta sacrifice the uh, the filming aspect in order to get the hole because oh, yeah. that's what y'all want to see anyway. Y'all want to see us get that hole and shoot all those birds. So, those birds. so yeah. Hopefully we can give y'all a good show. So I'll see y'all on the water. Well, we ended up coming in here with two boats. We got a heck of a load. Show them the load. Grab that light. <laughs> I got a load myself. Yeah. This thing does not carry a load well. All up on it there, the P-Rog, everything else. Yes, you see that. That is goose decoys. Keep it on the DL. <laughs> I like to throw them speckle bellies out here in this marsh. It does well. Big bodies. Got some white on them. It's the white butt for me. <laughs> well, you better not bring that one over here. <laughs> no, nah, it ain't a Rona. I swallowed two mosquitoes <laughs> on the way here. Man, I really should have brought that Tony's. <clears throat> as soon as we finish with this hunt, what we're probably going to do is he's going to go scout a couple of ponds that he's familiar with. A, little, a good little ways from here. And then I'm going to go on the far side of this place for an area that I'm used to. And I'm going to go scout that area. We'll be set up on one of those two areas probably uh, come tomorrow. Because we don't want to hunt the same place twice knowing that we probably won't get a good migration between now and tomorrow. Okay. We're just gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna be burning, burning off the gun barrels probably in here this morning if everything goes as planned. And these birds ain't, they, they ain't coming back in here the next day. They're going to have somebody else come in this pond because they're going to hear us shooting. We're going to try to play chess. chess and they playing checkers. Exactly. We're going to try to play chess while everybody else is playing checkers. Last year, one of the issues we ran into was a lot of stale birds. And, I, and we wasted some hunts going back to holes that we did good in and thinking, oh, they're going to be back again. You know, and they just weren't. And sometimes we'd wait for a cold front and we'd try to go back to that spot still and still working. just nothing we just weren't getting the good push that we had early in the year we're all set up got all the decoys thrown out 
They already got a lot of gadwall flying around. They got crazy people out here already shooting. <laughs> Yeah, that was like five minutes ago too, and we still have ten minutes till shooting time. <laughs> Lord, I'm opening day. We about to wait it out, wait till shooting time, and hopefully get y'all a couple of limits of greasy gad walls in the saltwater marsh of Louisiana. We've anticipated this day all year. I'm so ready. Let's go. Beep. 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 Good shot, buddy. Thank you. What you got there, boy? Greasy gray, boy. Greasy gray. First gaddy of the year. What they look like? Huh? I don't see nothing. You didn't see them ten? Uh uh. All right. Low, right here, right here, right here. Killing it. Gun messed up. Damn. That's where I like him, right there. I got him right there. You got him. Watch your head. Watch your head. I see him. Got him? Yeah, you got him, I think. First one oh. of the year for me. Oh. Oh. It's flying out front left. I don't oh. think it's going to make it here, but. I'm obligated to tell you. Oh, I see him way over there. It's outside of our flyway, but he could make it. It's a single. It's a single, so. It's probably going by them dudes. Good God, you. <laughs> I know, huh? Check yourself, Harry. I'm set up kind of, kind of bad, honestly, for like the birds that are like trying to light over here. Yeah. I'm not set up right for this, but I can't really swing anything over because I got this stupid bench in the way. That's a model duck. Yeah. That's two model ducks. Well, man, by itself, but they always do. That. Yeah. Big old middle finger. Yeah. All right, this one's gonna do it. This one ain't thought twice. Oh, dog. Uh, man, it's so hard to kill in the water, dude. They like, you got iron vest, bro. He's hit, though. I yeah, mean, look. Hit. Look at him. Going down. That thing's dead. Yeah, he's gone, like dead gone. He's dead. Hey, you want to do something real quick? What? You move this decoy spread, I'm going to look for them two birds. All right. Dogs. That bird's, that bird's probably that bird's dead. dead as a doornail. They don't do that unless uh, they're dead as a doornail. Awesome. Yeah, go find them two birds, and I'll, I'll, I'm going to take, like, half these decoys yeah. out of here. I'm going to create, like, a little... I'm going to take some of these... But Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of these birds, these decoys, I'm going to kind of throw them over here. Yeah. I thought from the jump that decoy spread looked a little busy. Like, it looks like it's a little too much. Making an in-game adjustment. I'm going to take some of these decoys here, put them over here. You got that bird? Yeah. Good. Not where I thought it was either. 
<laughs> hey, she found it though. Good, good. I'm gonna go ahead and get blind up. Spread looks a lot better now. You see like what we had before was like one big pod. Kind of just stretched right here. There wasn't a whole lot of gaps in there. And what I went ahead and did was just just make little gaps in there. And just hopes that maybe the birds will work in a little bit closer and actually land in the decoys. Cause right now they're basically just lighting straight out here in the middle of this open water. Yeah, we got four in hand, one in the bush. No, oh, look at that yeah, one. Tight. All right, you shoot, you shoot this bird. I'm sitting tight. You're gonna shoot this bird though if it comes in. He's gonna go by, by. Can't call, call Charlie over there. If he shoots that bird, I'm calling the cops. <laughs> if he shoots it, if he shoots it high. Bro, he's swinging to us. Get right. He's going to can't call Charlie. He just flared off of him too. He flared off of Charlie? Yep. Lord have mercy. Yeah, hey, this this dweeb sitting next to us. He went set up right on top of us this morning. That's a goon, bro. He's probably, I mean, maybe 120 yards from us. Maybe. Maybe 150 if we lucky. This dude's a joke, man. There's been several times where we got birds literally working us and this knucklehead sky blast at a duck. He's probably gonna shoot at these divers that's flying about a mile high. No, he's been shooting at that high all morning. <laughs> that is no joke. Dude, like, no dude's a joke, man. He sounds like he's blowing a coot call. <laughs> <clears throat> Them divers, man. They're just, they're just everywhere here. There he goes. I think he got one down and that he might be actually, a cripple shot. He shot a bird? I think, dude, because that last what? shot sounded like a cripple. There's no way. That bird is a paid actor. That duck literally. God, dude, there. get him. <laughs> Box of shells, here we come. Morning, this dude's going to have to leave up. in order for us to get our limit. That's and what we I think. Can. We'll get him. We'll get our birds. We, we don't plan on stopping anytime soon. so We'll hunt all day if we got to. And sure. if. It, if it's not worth hunting all day, like if, if we if we're close to a limit by the time we finish the hunt, we probably won't hunt all day. But it definitely ain't over yet. Still got some oh, grays parachuting down in the decoys, so it's only quarter to eight. It's quarter to eight. Quarter to eight. Oh, dude. We have plenty of time. A gray duck hunt ain't even started yet. No. If you want no, me to be truthful. Do large, you don't get there till quarter to eight. <laughs> That's true, yeah. Yeah, I'm very much not on time when it comes to hunting do large. It's just a different world. Different it is It is a different kind of hunt. This is similar. This is three quarters do large. Three quarters of the way, I would mm -hmm. say. It, it's close. It's the closest place to it. So, well, All we can do is sit and wait. Good shot, buddy. Thank you. I missed it. Hey, that's what they need to do. They need to do that. If they yeah. do that, we'll get them. Mm -hmm. Great. I don't understand how that one had to any life left in it anyways Dude. it was it was double tapped no oh, no i didn't hit that bird at all i thought you hit it when it on no. the first shot here. that's how it's going to be the rest of the day yeah. <clears throat> good girl play. Play. come on come on play go pretty bird Coming into us, though. He's th thinking about it, but I don't know if he is. Yeah, he is. He's coming into us. Got him. He's legit on the bank, the same spot my that other one. That was far, though, bro. He was way out there. Yeah, that was good. I, I, I hit him on the water, but obviously they don't die on the water. You know how they are. As soon as they jumped up, I knocked him down, but... Let that bird die like we did that last one, and we'll go over there. It's literally in the same spot. Hopefully he'll die. Shoot him. He's I hit put another one in him. Three in him. Yeah, I, I got one knocked down dead over here. 
Yeah, he's... Shoot him again, just to be safe. You want to shoot him with this one? Shoot him with that. Oh, shoot him with... one there. That's the one we need to shoot with this. Oh, shoot, shoot him. I thought he was dead. Oh, he's dead. That oh, one shoot that one. He's dead too? Oh, no. he, he dead dead. You shot him with that turkey choke? Yeah. <laughs> Tangy. All right, bro. Hey, hey man. On up, Moving on up. Moving on up. All right. That's a bloody dude. He's going to have to come in front of me or I can't shoot sitting down, my dad. Kill him. Good shot. Yeah, he's just got to do that. If he does that, he's dead. Heck yeah, boy. I told you, man, I'm feeling pretty good today. I just gotta get, I just gotta calm down a little bit, you know, open the morning jitters. Mm -hmm. You gotta understand, Taylor, and, and I know the people at home don't understand as you do, though. I love this sport so much, bro. I, I just, I get overly excited sometimes. Oh, yeah. Trust me, it happens to everybody. If it stops out, that's good. Look how happy she is retrieving that Dude, bird. Look at that tail just going to town. I only had one shell in my gun, dude. <laughs> I only had one shell in my gun, bro. They started. I, I when I went out there, I couldn't shoot anymore. I shot once behind the head and felt bad about it. Nah, you good, bro. <laughs> I hit that duck. But. Heck yeah, dude. I, hey, drop two birds. Whatever. Well, if they would have finished here, we would have killed all four. Dude. Hey, they did it right At though. At least you killed. Bro, they, dude, I, oh, yeah. dude, I am so, have, I am so heartbroken that I did not get like them cupped up like that. Yeah, that was dirty. I know I didn't get them cupped up. I got them over the decoy. But dude, when they was up there yeah, and they got, they got weird. tight. Oh yeah. my, dude, they were yeah. balled up coming in. Give, give. Oh ah. man. But look at that beautiful head, man. That's it. Pretty bird. Look at this one. Oh dude, two studs. Yeah. Killed the bulls. I know yeah. there was at least one hen in that group. I saw it. Boy, that's a beautiful Shot bird, man. That's an underrated Good bird. Girl. Come here. That here. is an underrated bird. Mm -hmm. This is a fine one here. Oh, oh my goodness. He's a stud, Dude, bro. that is, look at that, look at that cream down his back. When they got that, you know it is. He's turn, a, turn to the side, I want to see the head. He's a oh, pretty one, man. Let me get him in the sun. Yeah. Dude, look how pristine that oh, white he's, he's is. He's beautiful. He's absolutely beautiful. So look, that right there is my favorite part on the gray. What's that? The white? No. Down the back? That cream on their back. Oh, dude. He's a stud, man. Heck of a bird. Oh, absolutely, man. Place. I wish that I could have seen that flock a little bit ahead of time because when they got up on top of us right here, they got right. When I tell you how they got right, I mean tight, I mean straight down on a downward trajectory and just swooped up right in our face. I mean, it literally gets no better than that. I love when they come in from high, man. They get they get real vertical. It's, dude, it's they awesome. They were just so spread when I saw them and all of a sudden, dude, I just saw them put their wings under their bellies like that and they all just got tight, tight and dude, they were here like that. Yep, it's and amazing, they were man. they ways out. I saw them with dots. Yeah, and they, they look like dots in the like air just coming seconds. down. Yeah, it's yeah. amazing. It's that amazing. Was, that, that was fun. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> this is I'm, so fun. I'm having a blast, dude. Dude, this is. If I could have depicted like a perfect opening day, it would be this, but like 10 degrees cooler. Yeah. <laughs> it is <laughs> hot. It got hot quick. It got hot quick. It got quick. It got hot as fast as those birds got in here just now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, indeed. Let's shoot some more. Where the other one went? Oh, here we go. Oh. 
two dead things. <laughs> Tangy. Big hen. That's yeah, a big hen. Big giant mature hen. <laughs> All right, let's get back in. Give me two more. I got I got one more bird left to shoot. You too, huh? Yeah. We got five. I got five. You got five. We got two more left. Need a pair. Well, that was a pair. They just need yeah. to do it right. Yeah, they had a, one lit. Th th I mean, they came in. They did it right. Just one of them. One of them kind of came on the. I guess he came on this side. Yeah, I, I totally to lost right. lost the eye contact. Right. When they broke apart and I seen that one go to the right and I seen that one go to the left. You saw the one over decoy. I said, that's look, that's the only one I'm gonna be able to shoot where I'm, yes. where I'm at, so I'm gonna shoot that bird. Right. You know, I didn't know where this one went, but I figured he might have made his way over the top of you and you could have shot him. If I would have turned around, I guarantee you it was probably right there. Yeah. But I was I was sitting Well, so I know when I turned around and look, he was just stalled in the wind right, right. here. Right. So I said, Oh shoot, give him a try. And he was far. Yeah, he was, he was out so there. far. And I know the people at home don't even notice yet. Taylor's shooting a 20 gauge. He's all rolling year. these birds with a 20 year. gauge. That's what he's gonna be shooting all year. 20 gauge Benelli M2. He's shooting five, those five boss seven. shells. I tell you what, you've been hammering the birds with them. It's so. it's nasty, dude. Now, I mean, I was I'm able to downsize to a number five. Wow. And it's it's. I mean, I mean you crumbled birds today. Night and day I mean, difference, man. I mean, y'all know any of y'all who who get out and shoot gadwalls, you know they're they're a tough bird. So the fact that you crumbled some today with that twenty gauge is, is it, you know it speaks wonders to that number five shot. Well, after about two hours of not seeing anything in the sky, we decided to go ahead and pack up and head back to the camp. We ended the day with 10, 10 birds, all grays. Uh, not a bad hunt, had a great time. Not bad for opening morning on a hot day like today, so definitely grateful for it. But we about to head back to the camp, get some grub, and come up with a game plan for tomorrow. So stay with us, because we got more hunting coming. So what's the game plan tomorrow? Game plan is to go to the first pond that I went in yesterday and uh, try to catch him slipping in that hidey hole. Yeah. It's more of a, I, I got a feeling it's going to be really good after all the pressure everything got today. It is in the middle of nowhere. There is nothing around it. It is by itself and <laughs> it is small. I like that. I like and that. And when I went in there, there was feathers all over the place. Like they've been yeah. in there for a few days. <laughs> like we had said before, hunting the same hole over and over again. It ain't gonna work. Not whenever you're not getting a major migration, you know? So we're gonna go somewhere different. We're not gonna hunt the same hole again. And uh, sounds like sounds like we'll have as good a chance there as anywhere else, so. Being that we didn't get to scout this evening. Right, exactly. Yeah, we didn't get to scout. The reason why we didn't get to scout this evening is because the pup here wasn't feeling too good. I think she drank a little bit too much of that salt water today. And had an empty stomach. Yeah, so. Uh, we, we had to go ahead and run in prematurely just to make sure she got some food in her belly and uh, give her some fresh water. So, wasn't able to get a scout in, but I mean, we kind of already had an idea where we were going to try to set up anyway. So, we're just checking them. We're just going to go. We're just going to go tomorrow to the hole that we think will be a good hole and hope for the best. So, stick around and wish us luck. What's up, y'all? It's day two of uh, Louisiana duck season. And it's a pretty hot day. Yesterday, the wind was blowing out the east, and today it's gonna switch and actually come out the west, so a whole lot could change. The hole that we're hunting is our plan B hole from yesterday. So if somebody was in our hole yesterday, we would have came to this hole. Uh, it's a small pond, uh, kind of ducked off. Whenever Taylor scouted Friday, he's seen about 30 birds come land in this, ho this hole, so he knows that they like it. This spot is actually about eight miles away the way the crow flies from the hole that we hunted yesterday. Uh, so we're kind of on a whole different area of the place, but we know that the birds like this hole. Hole's not very big, and we really don't have much of a hide. I mean, this is pretty much 
all we have here. You know, the grass is real matted down. Uh, whenever these hurricanes came through, it really pushed this grass down. So we got this one little high spot here. But the problem, that's not really a problem, but the wind is coming, the wind is coming like this right now. So it's kind of a kind of a good wind right now, but at daylight, that wind will be coming from the west. So it'll be coming across this cove, kind of on an angle back to right here, where we're gonna be set up at. We refuse to set up in the sun. The sun's gonna be coming from here. So we're there's no way that we're gonna face like this and hunt into the sun. So the plan is to put decoys here, like kind of in this cove, to try to short stop the birds as they coming in this way and we'll be able to intercept them sitting right here. But since we don't have a good hide, we're gonna have to tuck kind of far back off the pond a little bit. So we gotta try to get these birds to wrap in real tight. We about to throw out these decoys real quick. We'll show y'all once the sun comes up, kind of how we set up. Just don't, don't talk to them. Bust my ass. One down. Huh? Got one down. Yep. Hey, they wasn't gonna come back. They seen too much. Don't shoot the dog. Sure Kill him. I rolled that one. Dude, you know how hard that was? We got three out of that. Awesome. Dude, whenever they came out, I had no shells in my gun. I had to throw two in real quick and flip on the GoPro at the same time. Good girl. Dude, I was like, where did this shell come from? Look. That's your uh, shell. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shooting all over and over and under today, y'all. But hey, they what you thought about with this decoy spread, that's what they did. Yeah, I know. They, they did it perfect. Like we drew it up. Dude. Summer mallet. That's what that is? Hey, you? Which yeah. one is that one? Is that the one I shot? That's the one I shot? Yeah. Oh, nice. Hey. And that's a summer mallet too, I bet. That was two grays and two summers. Flying together. I killed a gray out of it in the summer. Nice. You just talked about this yesterday. What? You? Hey, here? What? Summers? We talked about killing summers. I'm going to give you all a rundown on the setup now that it's daylight. So, we didn't have a very good hide. There's not a whole lot of taller grass here because of the hurricane yeah the hurricane just kind of literally blew everything over and the sun's coming up from the east obviously like it does every morning but the wind is blowing from the west so i'm me and him both agreed we ain't, we ain't looking into the sun we're just not doing it which if i'd have known they had this could this overcast this morning because the weatherman he's so accurate <laughs> if i'd have known it was gonna be like this we might not have cared about the sun but it's kind of a good thing that we set up like this anyways because we don't have a good hide and so you kind of got to hunt the crosswind, uh, being that you don't want those birds coming straight in your face because they'll see you. So you kind of got to be like off the pond, kind of over to the side. Uh, kind of just got this little bit of grass as the hide, kind of get behind it. Birds are kind of coming over my right shoulder and coming into the decoys, kind of on an angle like that. Uh, it's kind of a crosswind shot. And when they flare, they're flaring up and away. So when there's not a lot of wind in this marsh, I got a lot of gnats. Gnats will tear you apart in this marsh. And notice right now, there's no gnats around me. There's, I don't have any gnats around me. So I'm gonna give y'all a secret how y'all keep gnats away from y'all. It's really not a secret because a lot of people around here know about it. But in case you don't know, Victoria's Secret Amber Romance. Look, you're gonna smell like a woman, but the gnats won't mess with you. So take it from me. Yeah, Victoria's Secret. If y'all out there and y'all wanna sponsor a pair of duck hunters, let us know. <laughs> <laughs> that is one sponsorship I would take. Oh, every day. Send There's me send me pallets of it. And guess what? You know what else? What? Your wife would like it too because she'd get discounted bras and panties probably. <laughs> All right. And then that would even make it even easier because, baby, I'm literally the reason that you're getting to do this. So I have to hunt <laughs> and film this. Like, to get this That's product perfect. Out. It's perfect. Yeah, and they're going to be like, okay, fine. It's a win-win. It's a one thing y'all got to be worried about though is the first time you do use it and you go home to your wife she she might ask you some questions <laughs> you better make sure you get her to buy it for you yes tell her that's what i did with this i told her when you go to the mall 
pick up some Amber Romance by Victoria's Secret. And that's mine. And she was like, what do you need that for? <laughs> she, she she was questioning my sexuality when I told her I needed it. I said, it's for, it's for hunting, baby. She said, she said, you need Amber Romance for hunting? Who are you buying that for? <laughs> <laughs> so just make sure you got your story lined up. This is the proof. This is what it's for. I promise. I think Skin So Soft works too. Skin So Soft will work too. I think that's by Bath and Body Works. I think. I'm not sure. Anyways, y'all know the secret. Cat's out the bag. What's it doing? Straight up top. Straight up oh, that's a gray. That's a gray there. It might set, it might set up. He liked that, didn't he? He's going with the mother one time. Hell yeah, he's coming here. Oh, he's coming here, huh? Nice. Got a boy, good shot, Mark. Got him, Mark. I see him. Yes. Sentan, you already got the spot. I ain't taking my eyes off of it. Back. He's in the water. Yeah. Yeah, she'll find it. She's good at these blind retreats. All right. But she's, it's so fresh in the season, you know? Had a girl. Had a girl, Tangy. Come here, girl. All right. Well, how do you like that call? Dude, cut downs are where it's at. It's got such a hard rasp on it, and it really sounds like them old gray duck hens whenever you get a little three or four note quack to it. And I mean, that dirt, that bird was going away. There's birds over there on that other side and in potholes. That bird was going to go land with those other birds. Hit him with that little three note, real hard whack, whack, whack. And dude, he spun, and that Straight was just enough to come. I mean, we know he was gonna check us out, and he was gonna end up probably busting us so he they came just on enough of a beeline whenever I turned him and uh right as he was probably about to bust us is when we got him so I mean don't be scared to, to give him a little quacking here and there yeah if, if he's if he's already Especially gone he's you gone. might as well yeah, yeah you might as well I love it plug that Devin Singleton game calls <laughs> <laughs> Don't shoot this summer, all right? <laughs> Where's that summer gonna go? Is it gonna go land with them, you think? No, them are over here. Mm. Hell, he might. He might make it over there. Oh, they're all talking to him. Look, summer dropped in there. that summer dropped right in there. <laughs> That's awesome. You hear the whistle? Yeah. You hear that? All right, that one is that one looks like it might be getting right. I'm gonna slow down. Yeah, he's getting right. Oh, he's coming. I think that's a gray. That's a gray. Kill him right there. Oh, we double tapped that thing. Oh my god. Hey girl, here. Big old pretty gray. Mm-hmm. Hey, this side. Good girl. Yes. Good girl. Place. Place. Yeah, he wasn't gonna make it out. Bruh, look at that. Beautiful color. That color right there is what does it for me. That, that, real that pretty, brown cream that color. real pretty cream right there and then that that jet black booty but nice. whenever that whenever that cream kind of starts running down like it is on this one down there dude it's just so pretty and then obviously the big rust patches that's a beautiful bird dude it's fine is it that's a beautiful bird god that's gorgeous got six birds down big beautiful drake Gray duck.
Dude, we got a really pretty strap right now. With oh, yeah. Summers. Oh, yeah. Two yeah. summers to set off the strap. All right, so we ended the day with six birds. We each got a model duck and two gadwall. Uh, look how pretty these model ducks are. I love these birds. Look at that. Look at this big drake. That's Taylor's right here. It's one of my favorite birds right there. Yeah, I mean, you can't ask for a better bag than that. You know what's funny is these model ducks actually came in with some gadwall, which don't usually happen. Uh, most of the time, it's really hard down here to fool a model duck. Uh, for whatever reason, they know where they're going. You can call at them all you want, and they just don't even respond. And today, we think that they were flying with these gadwall, and when the gadwall came to decoy, they kind of just sucked in the model ducks right behind them. I think overall, we had a real good hunt. You can't ask for better quality than that on a hunt. Yeah, we didn't get a limit, but I mean, you can't ask for much more than that when you're talking about these quality birds. We had a pretty good weekend. Uh, today, there was less numbers of birds, but I think that could be expected, you know, with the, the weather we got and all the shooting they had out here yesterday. I think some of the I think some of the problems that we had was due to the high water in the early morning. It, you know, tide kind of dropped as the day went on. It might have actually been better for us to be coming back and making evening hunts. But, you know, first day, we had 10 birds. I'm not coming all the way back out here for two birds in the evening. Um, and today, we got to get back home. So we're going to go ahead and wrap up the video right there. I really hope that y'all enjoyed today's episode. If you did, please like and subscribe. And I'll see y'all next time on Fallen Tide TV.